A uniform pole has a weight of 30 pounds and a length of 26 feet. If the pole is placed against a smooth wall and on the rough floor in the position D equal to 10 feet, will it remain in this position when it's released? Assume a coefficient of static friction of 0 0.3. What is the maximum distance D it can be placed from the smooth wall and not slip? This is the first example for the friction main video. The link to that 10 minute video and other 2 minute examples are in the description below. For the first question, a free body diagram of the pole would show its weight, two normal reactions, one at the floor and one at the wall, and the friction force preventing the sliding. With 10 being the distance between the wall and the point of contact at the floor, and 26 being the hypotenuse, the distance from the floor to the point of contact at the wall would be 24. A sum of moments about A would have N2 at 24 feet, clockwise, and the weight at half the distance of 10 feet, counterclockwise. Assuming that the pole is not sliding and therefore not rotating, N2 is equal to 6.25 pounds. What we need to find now is if the friction force can be higher than this value. And to do that, we need the normal force 1. A sum of forces in Y would show us that N1 is 30 pounds and therefore the maximum friction force can be 9 pounds. Since the friction force can go up to 9 pounds and the pole is only being pushed horizontally with 6.25 pounds, we can conclude that the pole is in fact not sliding. For the second question, we know that regardless of the distance D, the normal force 1 is still 30 pounds. Therefore, the maximum friction force is still 9 pounds, which means that the normal N2 at that maximum distance D should also be 9 pounds. For the sum of moments about A, we would see the weight at a distance D over 2 counterclockwise and N2 at a distance that we can find with the Pythagorean theorem, clockwise. Solving for D, we would find that the distance has to be equal to 13.4 feet. The links to the other 2 minute examples as well as the other 10 minute main videos of the static scores are found in this video's description. So make sure to check those out. Thanks for watching.